Hey guys, it's LEGO Boys E3. Today I'm going to show you how to scramble Pyraminx and Scube according to the WCA. Now today is going to be the last of my tutorials explaining how to scramble cubes using WCA scrambles and according to the WCA regulations. Previously, I've done a video on 2x2 through 7x7 scrambles, and I've also done a video on Megaminx, Square One, and Clock scrambles. Both of those tutorials will be down in the description. Anyway, a good place to start is scrambling orientation. So for 2x2 through 7x7, as well as Megaminx, you always start with white, or the lightest face on the top, and then green, or the darkest adjacent face on the front. Now for clock, you can start in either orientation with the clocks facing upwards like this. And for square one, you choose the darkest of the two possible starting sides. So in this case, it would be red. So now let's go ahead and start learning something new with the pyraminx. So you want to start with yellow or the lightest face on the bottom, and then green or the darkest adjacent face in the front. And so the notation for this is pretty similar to something like a 3x3, and I'll expect that you already know how that works. But basically, you hold the pyraminx like this, which gives you four possible moves that you can do on it. There's the up move, or U, the right move, or R, the left move, or L, or the B move, or B. And of course, when you just see a capital letter by itself, that means turn that respective face one move clockwise. And so an L move would be like this, 120 degrees. An R move would be like this, a B move would be like this, and a U move would be like this. Now, of course, if you see a little symbol that looks like an apostrophe after the letter, that means turn it counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So this would be B prime, this would be R prime, this would be U prime, and this would be L prime. Now, of course, you should pretty much already know all that from the 3x3, and that covers all the normal inner layer turns like this. Now, if you want to do one of these outer layer turns, or the tips, as they're called, the same letters and everything still apply for the four axes. You still have U, R, L, and B, but instead of using a capital letter, you use a lowercase letter. So, for example, you can have U prime, like that, just a little U prime. You can have little R, like that, B prime, L prime. So now putting that all together, we should be able to now do a full scramble on the pyraminx. So let's hold yellow on the bottom and green in the front, and I'll pull up an official WCA scramble. So we have L prime, which is of course the left side counterclockwise, B, which is the back side clockwise, U, R prime, U, L, B prime, L prime, U prime, L, R, and then we have a lowercase U prime, which means the tip, and then we have a lowercase B prime. You'll always have up to four tip moves, and so here's the scramble, we can check it on the picture, and it looks correct. All right, so now onto Scube. So the scrambling orientation for this is pretty similar to most other puzzles, in that you have white or the lightest face on top, and then green or the darkest adjacent face on the front left. So it's not quite the front, it's the front left, which means normally you'll have red on this face on the front right. So with white and green right here and here, we're gonna use what's called fixed corner notation, or FCN. And so basically that means that this corner in the very front that's facing you is going to be fixed the whole time. It's not gonna move. And so with this corner not moving, that means you can do a turn like this, turn like this, turn like this, and a turn in the back like this. And so keeping this corner always in the same spot is gonna give us the same moves available as we had on the pyramids. So we have R for right, L for left, U for up, and of course B for back. And the same thing happens with clockwise and counterclockwise rotations, 120 degrees, just one turn. So this would be R, this would be U prime, this would be a B prime, you have to make sure you're looking at it in the right orientation, B prime, this would be an L. It may look a little bit complicated at first, but as long as you have this corner always in the same spot, it should go pretty easily from there. So let's go ahead and pull up an official scramble and we can go ahead and try it out. So we have white on top, and green in the left front. And so we keep this corner fixed and we do an L move. So left, clockwise like this, then R, just like this, keeping the corner fixed. We have B prime, which is counterclockwise, U, B prime, R, B, U prime, R prime, L prime, and B prime. And notice how this corner in the very front is still the same corner that was there when we started. It never moved at all. And we can go ahead and check the scramble. And it looks correct. So there you go. There's how to scramble a cube. There's how to scramble the pyraminx. And there's how to scramble every single WCA event covered in my other videos that you can get to in the links down below. After I made the initial few videos, I had quite a few requests for pyraminx and cube scrambling videos. So I decided to just go ahead and finish off the series here. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!